All right, guys, <laughs> welcome to another episode, albeit a very short one of Use It or Lose It. Uh, this month hasn't been a great month for using things up. There has been too much stuff in my personal life with my parents and other things going on uh, for me to do a whole bunch of art. That being said, I am still doing my daily practice art. And I did get some paper making in this last month in April. Um, so I was able to use up, uh, these were I think from Wish or AliExpress, I don't remember, they were full of dried flowers. And I used all of them up making paper. This also had, what did this have in it? Uh, pin. Originally it had pins in it, but I think when I pulled it out of my stash, it had dried flowers or something in it, and I used all that up too. So I've, I'm going through my stash of nature things, and I just filmed a couple of different journal pages in which I used up some of this. Now this is just a homemade folder full of DIY dried flowers and bark and things. I do have a habit of collecting things out on my walks, and then I literally just take them home and stick them in between book pages. And when, when they're dry, they go in here. Okay. And then I use them in um, different kinds of artwork, usually journal pages. And um, so then I have that. Um, so I've been I've been using this, although it's still like really full and puffy. I have been going through this and using this up. Um, but also stickers, like so many stickers. This is just a teeny tiny fraction. Um, I forget all the time to save like the little sticker backings to like show you guys. I should just for one month try to remind myself, maybe even just a week, to save every little like sticker backing so I can just show you. But every night I do journaling and every night I go through so many stickers, sticker books, little sticker books, medium sticker books, sheets of stickers, printed stickers, store-bought, like all kinds. And so I've gone through a lot of stickers to the point where if I see something interesting that I wanna buy or create for myself, I actually feel kind of justified doing that because I've gone through so much of the old stuff um, and gotten used it up not gotten rid of, but used it up that I feel okay by buying a few new things for my stash. Now, this particular one, I did not know washi tape got old, but I guess that is a thing. I read that after I stuck this in here and after I vlogged about it, but this tape will not come off cleanly to like save your life. I guess it's really old or bad tape or I just, I think it's been like this since I bought it, to be honest with you. Although, like I said, there are some videos out there that show that tape gets old, but this thing just like that, like all the time. I'm just, I've had it for so long. There is kind of a lot of tape on there left. I'm done with it. It just needs to go away. Gosh, it's going in the round file as my dad would say. So you, Hey guys, I'm going to interject here in my endless rambling about use it or lose it from April and bring you sort of a little tutorial idea that has occurred to me to do. And I've been kind of doing off camera and haven't said anything about it and I should include it in this video. And for one thing, it'll make the video more interesting because I didn't have a lot to say. Um, it's, I've been distracted by life and so haven't had a chance to really focus on trying to use stuff up. Anyway, I have not too many uh, um, sprays. I don't have too many of them because I find them Fabulous and yet endlessly frustrating with the clogging of the spray nozzle situation that anybody who's used these knows, and it doesn't matter the brand, these happen to be um, uh, Marabou uh, mixed media art sprays. I do like the Marabou one in particular, but they all have the same clogging problem. Some are worse than others. And I find them endlessly frustrating, so I just generally don't have a lot of them in my stash of stuff. Um, so I really want to use up what I have. I may replace them at some point with newer bought fresh bottles. Um, I'm glad they don't come in a bigger bottle because this big this bottle is hard for me to use up before the nozzle gets clogged as it is. Um, somebody told me a long time ago if you do this and you spray them upside down and until it stops spraying. Um, that empties out the nozzle, so then it stays cleaner. Of course, I didn't learn, learn that until I, half of my stuff was already clogged, so. Um, I tend to just save spray bottles from other things and um, then reuse them for something like this and then I throw it away. Or if I can, I wash it out, but that generally I just throw it away. Anyway, 
Um, so one of the couple ways I, I am going to be using them up, and I did pull a few ink colors out that I think I want to um, use with these because I want to do rainbow, um, is I have these. So these are, this is the Avery label paper. Um, this is Avery label paper scraps. It is from some sticker making I did yesterday, and I think it's, this is the full sheet label. Oh, what number does that say? It's really little. Uh, it doesn't say, 8364 maybe? But it's the full sheet label. Anyway, after I was done making labels and cutting them up, these were the scraps that were left over, and I almost threw them away, but I decided to spray them with some of the ink colors that I have and see what happened, and I let them dry. And I got this fabulous sort of, stickery, washi tape kind of stuff. I've already used it in my journals last night. Um, and I thought, I need to make more of that intentionally. And also, I wonder if I could dye some cheesecloth to use not only in my journals, but in some slow stitch projects. Like, I, these are acrylic. These aren't a water-soluble spray. So they should stay really well, even if it did maybe get wet. And so we're, this is just plain white cheesecloth like from the grocery store. I'm gonna do it in a couple of layers. These are totally not the scissors to do use for that because those are not fabric scissors and those do not wanna cut this. There we go. See what different scissors make. Um, so I'm going to cut some strips that fit inside my cookie sheet. Now this is cheesecloth so it should go all the way through. Uh, these cookie sh cookie sheets are from the Dollar Tree. Um, if you're going to use them for something like this in the art room, again, of course, you don't want to then ever use them for food. And don't spend a lot on the cookie sheet. The cheap ones work just fine. I've had these uh, quite a while, and some of them I've had for years. They're not rusty or anything. So that's probably a lot. Um, and I don't bother to try to clean them because that'll add its own kind of interest to the piece. I'm going to get this wet with some water. Because this is a cheesecloth is basically a cotton fabric. And if it's water, if it's, uh, if it's wet with water, it should do some wicking through all the way through. And you should be able to use up kind of quite a bit of um, the inks. To really coat the um, cheesecloth. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these sheets of label paper at the bottom. So any ink that goes all the way through the cheesecloth should go straight through to the label paper. Okay, more water. All right. So we're going to start, I want to do a rainbow, I said that right, so Roy G. Biv, red, oh I've got these backwards, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I don't have quite the right colors, but we're going to use what we have. Well that was kind of purple, but that's okay. We're going to go with it, it's too late now. Now see that one's already <laughs> it's our, it's already like let's open it and see if we can pour some out. There we go. I do like the idea of the spray inks, but yeah, they drive me crazy on a good day. These are just ink ink. These are this is FW Pearlescent ink. I also have some Bombay ink. I do have a giant, this one doesn't want to open. I have a giant bin of ink. So they need to get used up. They do dry up in the jar. I do have some I've had so long that they've dried up in the jar. That one is pearlescent, not that you would know because none of the pearls came out there with that first pour because I forgot to shake it. This is going to be a funny rainbow because that purple color should be at the end. 
It's okay. I don't care. It's fine. Let's see, I just this is a brand new spray nozzle. It's already clogged. And the one that I thought was purple, I bet you, is red at the end. That's okay. I don't want, know why I have these two blue colors, because they're nearly identical. Oh, no, that one is more red than this one. This one's dark. Okay, I'm going to spray. I'm going to grab some gloves, because... So I turned the fabric over, but a little bit on the back side, so we can get a good amount of color, hopefully, all the way through. And this will be great, because I'm going to use up a bunch of stuff. And as long as I have a little bit left over to do paper, that works. That one's empty. That one's also empty. Green. Empty. Again, I don't know why I have two colors of nearly identical blue, but okay. This is violet color. I'm going to put some more of the orange because I want to use it up. So that's done. Three bottles of ink, one bottle of spray. And we are going to just, then you would just let this soak. See what is the yeah look at that that's gonna be cool okay um so we've used up three bottles of ink the green spray we are gonna take this tray Hopefully, carefully lift up the whole shebang and let it drip, which you can't see too much of off camera. I didn't even get it wet first, I just laid it in there and had it soak up a bunch of the extra ink. Just distress a bunch of cheesecloth. Because why not? Why not? Now I could grab another bottle of ink. Let's see. Some of these inks I have had so long, you guys. So long. Okay, this one might be almost completely dried out. So let's use that one. This is another one of the FW Pearlescent inks. Oh yeah, there's some clumpy bits at the bottom, but it's empty now.
I'm going to grab some of this label paper and I'm going to just put it down here at the bottom to catch some of this stuff. Yep. And I found with more of this label paper, I end up using the back as well as the paper actual front and gluing it down. The sort of slick back paper actually glues down really well with a glue stick. What number did I say the label paper was before? It's 8465, it's Avery label paper, 8465. And it's a full sheet of sticky paper. So this is the paper part, the matte paper finish part. And then this is the back slick, um, slick part that you pull off to reveal the sticky. Now I found again that if you get ink or paint on the back side, of course it doesn't want to come off now. Um, even though this is kind of slick and waxy, if you use a good glue or a good glue stick, it sticks down just fine. So for these, I'm going to just do this. We'll see if these spray, because I don't think all of these want to spray. I think, I think at least one of them is clogged, but we'll find out. I'm going to put two. I'm, I'm running out of paper. I'm going to need to get some more. Okay. We're going to start with the pink. That is really not doing well. That's just water, by the way. Yep, see? They just, they don't want to spray. And then that happens. That's why I had gloves on. Gloves are back on. I also have some cardstock. Some just plain white office supply store cardstock. I think we're going to get out some of those too. And I've got, I, have, I must have 20 or 30 of these cookie sheets. Again, they're from Dollar Tree, so they were a dollar each. And um, they're sort of invaluable, to be honest, in the art space. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give this a spritz of water. This pink one is kind of clogged, so I'm going to just do that. Throw the top away, because my idea is I just use it all up. Water. Oops, water. Okay, pink one's gone. I don't know what color this is. Aubergine, oh, aubergine, which is a red purple. And just make some sort of abstract dyed papers. I mean, you're going to be able to use these in your artwork as collage paper. You could make greeting cards out of them. I like the idea of spray inks. It's just that, I don't know, for me, they're just not practical. Probably because I don't use them every day. And I'm really bad about cleaning the nozzles and like all of that stuff just kind of makes me crazy. This is the other blue, which is, I guess, more of a blue blue, but they're pretty close. And then this is the last one. So if I do something like this and I just make a point of grabbing a few bottles every now and then and make some stickers with it or some paper, label paper or something, like before I know it, the stash won't be nearly as big and ridiculous the way it is right now. Plus I have some homemade papers to do fun art stuff with, which I'm really enjoying right now. 
So I don't know about you, but I know for me, this is perfect. So get out a few of those inky type mediums this month that you haven't been using and are just sitting drying up in a basket somewhere and use them, get them out and use them up. Make yourself some interesting paper or stickers and um, see what you can do. I would love to know what you're doing. Please do share if you're in one of my Facebook groups or tag me, tag me in a post maybe on Instagram. Use it or lose it. I know you all have stuff in your stash like I do that you have been hoarding for a long time. Let's get it out. Use it up. And if we've decided it no longer speaks to us anymore, it never did speak to us, let it go. Let it go to somebody who will use it or if it's just a bad product, just toss it out. All right. I hope that gives you some ideas or encouragement. And I would love if you have ways of using stuff up to start a conversation, either here in the comments or in the video, or if you're a member of one of my Facebook groups over there, let's start a conversation, new ideas, projects, techniques that we can start or we can do to use up some of what we've been hoarding, yes? All right, if you want to find said Facebook groups, support the free content here on YouTube or over in the groups, um, Buy the Art Foamies I've designed for the Art Foamies company. Uh, become a student in the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and some other teachers in June. The links for all that stuff are in the video description. Most of them are in the link tree list of links, but it's all down there. Click on a few things, look around. Um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.